Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few flying solo. Fair enough. Player one, here's your buzz in key. It's showtime. Hello, and welcome to the solo game. It's a great way to practice Jeopardy. So if you're ready, let's go. The first round categories are as Big follows. books. Mother Earth. Quotations. Classical composers. A loaf of bread. And to complete the board, fashion statements. Player one, you start us off. Webster's Third defines it as a reference book containing words usually alphabetically arranged. Player one. No, that's not right. Sorry. This sour bread made with a starter got its start among old-time prospectors. His period of work between Eroica and Symphony No. 8 is known as his heroic decade. La Nina is the name given to the weather pattern that produces many effects opposite to this one. Napoleon said, the history of this city, a view of which is seen here, is the history of the world. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Oh, that's incorrect. When you praise someone highly, you take this off to him. This dark German bread can pump you up. It took Edward Gibbon 15 years to chronicle the decline and fall of this ancient empire. The remembered taste of a cake provides a turning point in this Proust work about memory. This Englishman's 900-page novel, Nicholas Nickleby, became a nine-hour play and a miniseries. <laughs> Building and penal are types of these collections of laws. It can be a baseball player getting ready to hit, or your liquid bread mix. On the average, the Earth is about 93 million miles, or one astronomical unit, away from this. Player one. Absolutely. Pick again. The high or spring tides on Earth occurred during the new and full phases of this.
The Grand Erg Oriental, covering parts of North Africa, includes some of these dunes 1,000 feet high. The outer portion of the earth are the edge of a piece of bread. Player one. Precisely. It can be a bread roll or hair gathered into a round coil. Without bread to eat, this French queen reportedly instructed the peasants, let them eat cake. <laughs> Rutherford B. Hayes said that he serves his party best who serves this best. Of all sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest are these. <laughs> Poor Richard's Almanac says, to lengthen thy life, lessen these. Of her 1962 novel, Ship of Fools, she said, I finished the thing, but I think I sprained my soul. A Freemason, this Austrian sprinkled references to masonry in his Masonic cantata, and the magic flute. When you have a secret agenda, you have something up this, like a crafty conjurer. When his Madama Butterfly opened at La Scala in 1904, it was greeted with hisses. Do this up, and you're putting on your finery. Do it down, and you're scolding someone. This Venetian's first works date from the early 18th century during his years as violin master at a girl's orphanage. Shirt feature term for a professional whose job generally doesn't involve manual labor. To be discharged or dismissed is to get this piece of footwear. And see, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? For the 1910 season, Sergei Diaghilev commissioned him to score a ballet based on the Firebird. Player one. Oh, no, sorry. You know, that's a decent score. Well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. They hail from Boston. 1820s America. Business terms. Name that country. 
actors and actresses. And the final category is green. Player one, you start us off. It ain't easy being this green Muppet frog. Player one. Absolutely. Pick again. Green is a traditional Muslim color in this Middle Eastern country where you'll find Mecca. Larry Bird and Bill Russell won renown wearing the green of this Boston basketball team. In a poem, Sir Gawain cuts off this green foe's head, which the body picks up and rides off with. Answer? The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? These green Belgian veggies seen here are rich in vitamins as well as being delicious. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Ooh, no, sorry. He played Rocky and Rambo. She was Scarlett O'Hara. In Fast Times at Ridgemont High, he played the goofball named Spicoli. You could call this actor Uncle Jed or Barnaby Jones. She was bewitching as Samantha Stevens on TV. It's a leading tin producer. Fish fights are all the rage. It's the country formerly known as Siam. <laughs> Alpacas are bred for wool there. Singani is a favorite drink. The National Museum of Arts is in La Paz. It's about the same size as Washington, D.C. It's a principality. It's next to Switzerland. Player one. Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. Sandals are popular there. Many of the people speak Dinka. The second largest city is Khartoum. Its official language is Malay. Bandar Seri Bhagawan is its capital. Its head of state is a sultan. Player one. You're in fine form, so pick again. Sensible consumers clip these to get sense off. Player one. Ah. 
Absolutely. Pick again. It's the boating term used when the government comes to the aid of a sinking business, like Chrysler in 1979. Player one. Precisely. A firm that buys and sells other firms, or part of the name of Janis Joplin's 60s band. Term for the amount a retailer adds to the cost price of a product. It may not be all profit. A factory's manual labor is blue collar, and these are steel collar. Once a part of Massachusetts, it became the 23rd state in 1820 with Portland as its capital. Player one. No, that's not right. Sorry. On July 4th, 1826, this third U.S. president died at age 83 after asking, is it the fourth? Player one. Absolutely. Pick again. In December 1821, Stephen Austin established the first American settlement in this state. Player one. Ooh, no, sorry. On April 8, 1826, this great compromiser dueled John Randolph. Neither man was injured. In late 1824, fur trapper and scout Jim Bridger became the first white man to see this great Utah lake. Player one. Oh, that's incorrect. This Boston native played Mr. Spock. Player one. Ooh, no, sorry. This disco queen had us all dancing in the 70s with I love you, I feel love, and love to love you, baby. Player one. Oh, regrettably, no. Answer, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? A one-time Unitarian pastor, he transcended with works like Nature and the American Scholar. Player one. Good guess, but it's not what we're looking for. Born in Boston in 1931, she was the first female to co-anchor a regular nightly network newscast. And the final answer of the round. This West Point washout and author of The Raven was born in Boston in 1809. Player one. Exactly.
I'm sorry, but you have a score of either a negative number or zero, and you know you can't continue on with us in the final jeopardy. Hope you Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's set things up before we begin our game.